Chances are you or someone you know got one of those DNA genealogy kits for Christmas. But here's a question. How much faith should you put in the results? Well, we wanted to find out. So we got identical twins to put it to the test. Here's our investigator reporter Brendan Kirby with a story. Some 30 million people have purchased home DNA kits to trace their ancestry, but many may not realize why results vary from one company to the next. We put three under the microscope and examined the science. Oh, and we had a little bit of Italy. Italy is right here. Caroline and Camille Clark are both seven-year-old first graders at Hutchins Elementary School in Mobile. They both have the same favorite subject, science. It shouldn't be a surprise. They're identical twins. So the results of DNA tests should be exactly the same for both girls, right? We wanted to find out. All right, you want to open it up? Let's we'll see what's in there. So we had each girl take three of the most popular DNA ancestry kits on the market, Ancestry.com, 23andMe, and National Geographic. Mother Lauren Clark knew a little already, based in part on an Ancestry DNA test that her father took. My dad's side was all European, so basically from the UK. Um, so I'm interested to see, I know his family last name um, is Clark, which is traditionally Irish or Scottish. Scottish, and so I'm interested to see what theirs comes back as. And indeed, all three tests pegged the twins' ancestry in that region of the world. But look a little closer and you'll find nuances. Ancestry.com and Nat Geo had the same results for each twin, while 23andMe showed slight differences between each girl. And all three tests showed differences from one another. Ancestry.com lists the girls as 63% England, Wales, and Northwestern Europe, and 37% Ireland and Scotland. But 23andMe breaks it down a little differently. It says about 60% British and Irish, while listing other regions in Europe separately. The results from that geo, meanwhile, turn up something the other two didn't. It finds Caroline and Camille have 2% DNA from northern India. We actually talked about how there was just a little variation and we thought that was interesting. Perhaps more surprisingly, small differences showed up even within the same company. For instance, 23andMe says Camille is 63.2% British and Irish, but Caroline is only 59.9% British and Irish. The test found nearly twice as much Italian DNA in Camille than it found in Caroline. Those discrepancies confused the Clarks. Yeah, which you would think would have been exactly the same given that they have identical DNA. It should be, you would think, but um, I don't know, we talked about that and we thought, well, maybe it's their, their, the way that their lab tests the sample, or maybe there was, you know, more of a sample. So what gives? Representatives from 23andMe, the only company whose tests did not produce identical results for the girls, say the differences in results are likely because the analysis of DNA can have small variations between the two results, even though the DNA is identical. All Ancestry DNA tests work on the same principle, examining the DNA for markers common to people in certain parts of the world. But different companies have different ways of making that determination. And there are many factors that are hard to capture. For instance, someone might have had an ancestor from Southern Europe who mixed with people from the Middle East hundreds of years ago. This can throw off the results. Dr. Anna Hurst, a medical geneticist at the University of Alabama at Birmingham, suggests taking the results of any Ancestry DNA kit with a grain of salt. These are all just estimates and it's not an exact, precise science. From a medical perspective, we definitely consider at-home Ancestry tests as being for entertainment only. Um, there are um, chances and times where people should expect unexpected results. Um, what did they take? No, no airplanes back then. A boat! A for the Clark parents, the experience was illuminating. They say they might even start doing non-DNA research to find out more about their family history. For the Clark children, maybe they'll appreciate it in the future. Now, not so much. Did you like that? Was that fun? No? <laughs> yeah, it was kind of fun. Whether you're a twin or not, these tests can be a lot of fun. Just keep in mind the limitations of the science. Reporting from Mobile, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.